What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, all the items will be linked down below. And if you guys can give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So today is going to be my 2023 wish list. I can't believe I did not say 2022 because I feel like in the last one I was like 2021 and then 2020. I feel like I always get the years different, but since I'm doing this in late January, I find that I, I finally know that we're in 2023. So I'm gonna scoot over a little bit here and I'm gonna be showing you uh, the top 10 items that are on my list. So normally how I do this is I do a video around the beginning of the year and kind of mid more around my birthday. I kind of do an updated video on what I purchased, what I didn't purchase, and what's on my list and new things that I added on the list. So um, this is not for basically the entire year. It's basically for the first two quarters and a half, maybe like leaning more towards three. And then I kind of do a birthday wish list um, so my friends and family kind of know what I want. And then I go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first three items, guys. Yes, the first tres cosas van a ser de Carolina Herrera. So this year will be my Carolina Herrera era. I have always wanted Carolina Herrera items. Well, growing up, I did have like a lot of Carolina Herrera clothes and stuff. And back at my parents' house, I definitely do have a lot of archive Carolina Herrera clothing that still fits me. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first item that I want, Carolina Herrera. And if any of you guys have owned anything from CH, I would wanna hear it down below. It's the quality good do you recommend it do you not recommend do you consider contemporary designer in the middle because uh, I see different people call it different things uh, I would love to hear anything and everything about Kerona Herrera down below um, and so let's get started so the first thing is going to be the Kerona Herrera initials in Singia um, basically it is this flap style handbag I have tried this handbag on in El Palacio Hierro in Monterrey about like a little over a year ago um, here in the States it reaches for $14.65 and I would want it with the silver with white leather and I think it is perfect I love the casualness of it I love that it doesn't have a chain um, I use my Bottega Veneta cassette in white so much and it's in gold hardware and I would love to add a designer version and silver hardware. I also have my single Vermont 5.7 bag, which is also in it's more of a cream, but it has gold hardware. I definitely want to add a pure white handbag with silver hardware. And I think that this is the perfect one. The 465, I believe, is just like the regular size. I know they have smaller and a larger one. I want just the classic kind of medium style. There's ways in where I carry things. Like an everyday like this one or a tote with my laptop or humongous when i travel normally the smaller ones are more like lunch dinner um more kind of days off type of bag and i think this will phenomenally go well with my wardrobe it will match absolutely everything i have a lot of black and white in my wardrobe i learned how to take care of white bags a lot of my sneakers shoes are going to be white so this will automatically go with everything that i have and the quality of this, I have touched this, I have felt it, the inside is so beautiful, well made. The corner, the edge wear, everything that I, I, I love everything about this bag. And you guys know last year I did make a video of like why I was like a little bit out of designer. And I feel like Kirona Herrera, I believe that what I like is that they don't really wholesale their items. So you won't find their items in department stores. You only really find them in their own booth. And I like that they're a little bit more exclusive. They're a little bit more refined. And also I like Kirona Herrera as a person. But also I find that the price points are not that expensive um, compared to other brands. I think for... for 1465 is pretty reasonable beautiful well-made handbag and so therefore i'm willing to bite this bag this is probably going to be the first designer handbag purchase other than the versace ones that i got for christmas of this year so stay tuned for that because that will happen literally any day now but this bag i love and i definitely 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 cannot wait um to add it into my wardrobe next one is going to be the ch initial loafers and that kind of same collection this is 520 dollars um i'm mean, they only come in black right now they do have my size i have not seen these in person and i've not tried them on yet so everything will deal with how i'll try them on and these are items that are, I'm more than willing to pay full price. I don't really mind paying for them because I, I, I these are items that I've been back in my mind for months. 
Ever since I was in Palacio Hierro, I knew that I eventually wanted to get into Carolina Herrera and I find that this year, year, fresh start, I think this is going to be the year of Carolina Herrera in the beginning at least. Uh, the loafers, they're black, they don't really have any hardware, they'll go with all my denim, all my trousers, uh, it'll go with everything that I already have. As you can see, a lot of my footwear. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions why my shoes are in the background. The handbags are in the closet, but the closet has a, like, a lock now, so they're all there, so whenever I leave my apartment when I'm not here, um, it is locked and there's camera is facing everywhere the shoes yes they're like a little bit out in the open but i'd rather have my handbag more safe than my shoes but the loafers none of the less they're gonna be like my bottega veneta loafers that i that have no hardware on them i got these about two and a half years ago they've been wearing really nice i love loafers not the gucci ones the prada ones i have one mules from the row uh, I'm just a very much a type of person i love sneakers booties and a good uh, loafer slash mule I feel like loafers are kind of a happy medium. Sometimes I don't want to wear a booty. Sometimes I don't want to wear a sneaker or a flip-flop or a sandal. So I feel like the loafers is perfect. It'll go with everything. And it'll go with the next item that I'm going to be showing you, which is a CH Doma Zingia Satchel, which is $19.95. I've seen people call this like a version of an Hermes Kelly. I wouldn't necessarily compare it to that because they're a little bit similar, and but a little bit not similar. Um, this one's $19.95. So the... The satchel I would definitely get in white with silver. This one I would get black so I can match the loafers. They may be a little off, but from your proportional from your shoes and from your bag, it's really not that different. Um, I would definitely, for me, the, in the order that I stated is the order I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy the handbag first in white, and then I'm gonna buy the loafers, and then I'm gonna buy the satchel. The satchel will probably be more like of a, a early summer, so I can have them kind of as a set, and that will, buy, that will be kind of like my set to be wearing. You guys know I love things to be matching. For the white satchel, there's not really like anything that I like or that would go with it, so that's fine if it's by itself. I have others that would go perfectly with it. Um, I thought about adding a belt into this list, but I wanna really have these three items and then kind of go from my collection for Kalina Herrera. I don't have anything else from them other than a fragrance and some cloak ready to wear that I have at my parents' house. But other than that, I think those three would be a really great start and a really great introductory to the brand. And so I'm really, really excited to finally add Carolina Herrera into my collection. I think that they're beautiful, quality, very underrated. You don't really see a lot of people wear, especially people my age. Very respectable is what I'm trying to say. They're very sophisticated. And that's what I'm gravitating towards. And I, I've been learning more and more about the brand and more and more I've been liking. I know CH and Carolina Herrera are different. Like CH is more of the fusion. Carolina Herrera New York is like more. I like Wes Gordon's job for uh, Carolina Herrera in general. So I, I love it all. So definitely yes. And Carly Kloss is the face of a lot of the campaigns. So um, that's also good because I do love me some Carly Kloss. And yeah, that's the first three ones. The fourth one is I definitely want to get into Stella McCartney. So I want the Stella McCartney logo tote bag. Um, I saw Emma Hill have this bag a few years ago. It's been in the back of my mind, but I feel like this year I definitely want to add another tote um, Just because I always have to carry my laptop with me if I'm editing videos if I'm at work it Just I always zoom meeting. I just I don't really like to do everything on my cell phones or cell phone I like to ha I like to have my laptop. I can't do an iPad with a little um, What's it called touch screen? I like to have my laptop with me at all times. So uh, this one will fit in it. I've seen this bag in person getting returned at Nordstrom before. It's 1050. I will most likely see Stella McCartney. Like, is it you know eco friendly? So I'm pretty sure she would appreciate if I bought it pre loved So I'll probably end up buying this on Fashion File when I see it for a great deal when they have a promotion. I don't mind paying full price if I, there's a color that I like. 1050 is not as pricey. I do want it the Goyard tote, but I rather I feel like I would use a Stella McCartney a little bit more. Not a lot of people have it. So in the Stella McCartney, they usually go for like six to seven pre-loved so we'll see we'll see what i end up going for it but i do want to add something a Stella mccartney handbag but it's most likely going to be the logo so i'm not a big fan of the falabella style um it's a little too slouchy for me and that deer skin looks like it, it's very easy to get dirty uh regardless of what color we would stay away from that and i'd rather have kind of like that full kind of wipeable material and this bag well this tote doesn't have any hardware on it that's very noticeable so that's another thing that i like just like the mark jacobs tote bag my bottega and an acro tote it's very versatile where i can use gold and or silver or rose gold hardware it goes with any either or so i can kind of like mix and match it so absolutely yes this is a yes in my book so Stella mccartney logo toe is a yeah the fifth one is going to be the coach heart bag and this one is 350 dollars black on black this will probably be the second handbag that i'll purchase this year it'll probably be the carolina general white flap 
and then it'll end up being the coach heart bag this one's currently out of stock this was actually going to be a valentine's day present for myself that i was going to buy or someone was going to buy for me but it's sold out so i have to pick something else and so i definitely i want this i should have honestly purchased it last year when it was still in stock but right now it's out of stock and you know right now i have so many bags in my collection i'm still enjoying the two versace ones that i got um during holiday and my tote bags and all the other bags right now i do have bags that i do want to use and so I, the heart bag will wait but those two will definitely be the first two that i want to buy but i definitely do want to get the girl and her first number six is going to be the gucci gt maltese handbag um, the one that basically is their version of like the Prada nylon, the Louis Vuitton um, pochette uh, accessories. This one is 1980. Um, they do have the canvas one, which is I believe is 1790. I'm gonna try to pay 200 dollars more and get the full leather experience. And I did try the canvas one, which I'll enter the picture here. Uh, the reason why I'm not into the cam is first of all, it's like too locally and also I don't really like the strap I don't really like the red and the green with it. I feel like and I don't like the cherry I feel oh not cherry is it a strawberry cherry? I think it is a strawberry strawberry just a little too juvenile I know you can take it off, but I'm a grown man. I'm 22 like I don't want a strawberry on it I'll probably not end up using the charm and I don't really like the strap It won't really go with a lot of the core clothing that I have so I'd have to go out of my way to find it but the black with the gold, I think that is perfect. I like that it has a G, but it's not super in your face. And I think 1980 is a really great price for this type of style bag. It, it will fit a lot. I have put my stuff in the regular canvas one. And it fits everything I need. My phone, my car keys, a lip balm, uh, powder, my cigarettes. Like It fits absolutely everything that I need it to fit. So I really don't have an issue with it. And 1980s and... Um, pretty reasonable for this type of handbag and i know by the end of this year but in two three years this is gonna be one of their core bags i can already see this being you know twenty five hundred dollars in two years from now so i definitely do want to hop on this one this one's not so much a priority i would definitely love to get all the other ones and there's another bag that i'd much rather get before i get this one but this one i do want to get and this one will probably be like in the in the mid year um i'm planning some trips so this would be something that i would buy like on a trip out and about maybe like in miami design district or number seven is going to be the hermes kelly belt this is 980 um i just love this belt i think this belt, belt will go well with a lot of trousers the belt i feel like wouldn't look good with a lot of denim unless they're very very simple but this with like a lot of my trousers that I already have that are very clean, that are very simple, like from The Row, from K, from Vince, from Theory, Veronica Beard. Um, those will go over ACL, uh, or ALC, or whatever it's called. Um, it will just go well, very clean, like beautiful white trousers, a little flared with an Aritzia bodysuit, a belt, and wear, regardless what leather, black or brown. It, it just looks so chic. It looks so sophisticated. It just looks like that girl like oh, I'm gonna go to lunch I'm gonna go to dinner. Uh, it looks very very sophisticated with their hair back. I love it 980 is not that bad it, For the amount of wear that I use it the belts that I do have like the Hermes the Saint the Hermes H belt the Saint Laurent one and the Tom Ford I use them all the time and so if I I tell myself if I'm gonna use it I'm gonna go ahead and buy it so the Hermes Kelly looks phenomenal and I definitely do want to add it number eight is going to be a pair of golden gooses I have two pairs of golden gooses in my collection I have one that I got like gonna be two years three years old and I have one that's about like a year and a half old they're both right there um I do want to add a new one but this one um, I do want to get it customized. I want to say like Sergio's Secret. Like I want to go and get the full Golden Goose experience because I've I didn't both of those were purchased through Nordstrom, but I do want to go in and get the full Golden Goose experience. I know that Golden Goose um, can go on sale like on Essence and other websites, but I want mine to be custom, custom, customized, and that nobody else has. Like you could tell that they are me. So I don't mind paying full price or maybe a premium. I don't really know how the whole process works. If you guys have ever done custom golden gooses, can any of you guys let me know how that process works? Because I really don't know how it does, how it works out. Some people get them, but I just haven't had the time to ask them. But I know that you can get them custom, and that's definitely what I want to do. Get them custom, like how I want them, and with the laces, with like the glitter. Like I want the whole. Ex I'm not a big experience person. If I can get it like a fast power or like you know through department store with other bar i really don't care but for the golden gooses i'll save that experience because they're going to be custom to me and they're only for me i don't know the price range of this i'm assuming about 700 750 upper tax we'll see this is definitely what i want but if any of you guys have gotten custom golden gooses 
Definitely let me know your process down below because I have no idea, but I would really, really appreciate it. Number nine, I have a pair of sunglasses, and these are the Loewebe inflated 41mm square glasses, and these are directly from the Nordstrom website. They're $360. They're very, very novelty, but you also have to keep in mind, a lot of my outfits are very simple, they're very clean, they're very effortlessly, so something like this, and I have tried these on, I think like in a dark navy color, blue color. They're very fun, and they're very like square, and they kind of droop a little bit, which is a type of style, and the width of them seems perfect. Uh, I just want a nice fun pair because a lot of my outfits are very simple nowadays And so I definitely want something that uh, has a little bit fun, but are very one color So I think these are perfect and it has no hardware so I can wear gold and silver with them So I definitely do want to add it and number 10 and this one will be a pre-love purchase um, This is probably like the Selma McCartney one uh, Prada Cleo uh, white to go with my Prada loafers that are white with a smooth leather. Um, this one is $31.50. I remember when this first came out, this was $2,400. Uh, I definitely would buy this pre-love, probably for no more than $2,400 after tax. Uh, I'll probably pay $22, probably $24 after tax. That'd be perfect. Want it? It's very clean, sophisticated. Goes with a lot of the coats, a lot of the jackets, a lot of the shoes, the trousers that I have. So it would just go perfectly seamless into my wardrobe. This year, the handbags that I do want to add, uh, I want them to be a little bit more complementing my wardrobe that I currently have. I don't really want to go out and about and buy wow pieces that are not going to complement my. I already did that during holiday. The red and the denim were kind of like my wow, but the next few bags that I do get, uh, I want them to be a little bit more just because they go and mix and match with a lot of the things that I already have in my wardrobe. Yeah, guys, this is going to be my 2023 uh, designer wish list with a little bit of contemporary items. Like I said, the brand focus definitely for the first two quarters of the year is Carolina Herrera. So if you guys have owned anything or algo de Carolina Herrera, lo quiero escucharlo ya abajo. You guys have to let me know the quality, the experience, what boutiques do you like. Do you like the San Antonio one? Do you like the Dallas one? Do you like the Houston one? Have you been to this uh, San Marcos Premium Outlet one? Definitely let me know down below. I would love to hear it. And I want to know what, what is the one item that you want. For me, it's definitely the white satchel is the one thing that I do want out of all these 10 items. But what is the one item that you guys want on your wish list? I definitely want to hear it down in the comment section because you guys point out very different items and it's very cool to kind of see what other people, uh, like what is their one item that they want to add, particularly this year or maybe for the first six months of the year. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below in case you want to inquire about them. Y los miro hasta la próxima video. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.